Hola people, how's everyone doing today? Well, as you can see by the title of the video, we got another exciting couple of things we're gonna be doing. So I am in the middle of recording a I look for another video. So this that right here is actually the Queen palette. A Queen Lies in All of Us by Eloise. I got this in my box to charm and that's what that's looking like so far which is super cool it's giving me super like purpley bluey folly but also fairy vibes like I'm, I'm definitely feeling this so far but we are going to be doing almost an entire face of the lip bar today which is so good i have been waiting to try the lip bar like i know they're in target and they have their own store in detroit i believe uh and um you can get online of course but i've always been like okay i want this but then this is out of stock and i never was able to like get the products that i want that were all in stock at the same time and last week they actually came out with a brand new product the concealer so when i saw they had a concealer i was like okay this is it we're getting it because y'all know i am a concealer fiend you can I see? I have like 30 concealers back there. I love, 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 love concealer because y'all can see these dark under eye circles. They're, they're not the business. So I'm always looking for something to cover that up and, you know, keep it moving and trying to do the least amount of color correcting as possible because I hate to color correct even though I will do it, but it's not my favorite thing. It's an extra step I wish I, I can just get rid of. So all in all, let's see. I think we have everything for a full face. So um, I wasn't sure what my foundation shade was, but the really cool thing is that the lip bar gives you free foundation samples. You can get up to three. So I picked these three colors because they have a complexion, like, oops, they have a complexion thing where it like gives you like your, your shade. So you can shop online and see which like different category that you fall in. So according to this, I'm in the caramel category, which is three, three o'clock. I think they go by like time number so it was like one o'clock two o'clock three o'clock so i'm in a three o'clock time change which is caramel and they actually came out with the six concealers and the six con the six concealers are matched up toward that shade category as well so instead of it being like five to ten and ten or whatever there's one for ebony one for mocha one for cinnamon one for caramel honey and then ivory so these are the five different categories you get for the concealers and it's called the new quick conceal caffeine concealer wake up your beauty routine so that's pretty cool so I'm really excited about that um, so I have some foundation I have concealer I have an eyebrow pencil because they have a kit where you can get it's called the uh, fast face kit is that what that thing is called it is called, what you call it, what you call it, the Fast Face by Lip Bar Kit. And it's $99 and you get the foundation in that kit. But because I didn't know my foundation shade, I didn't want to get that one. So they have a mini kit that you can get. And in the mini kit, you get a eyebrow pencil. And, oh, it's eyebrow pencil and gel in one. I didn't realize it was a gel in this one. You get a lip color. And I got the matte lip color, vegan liquid matte lip color in uh boy trouble which is this vibrant red which i'm like cannot wait to try it and then you get a four-in-one face palette which is called the minute finish and it's highlighter blush face and contour powder so it looks like there's a contour a bronzer a highlight and a blush and that's what that looks like right here so yeah i'm really excited to try this out plus i also picked up two other colors so you know me i am a purple fiend as well so i picked up this purple color in crown me and i picked up a nudie color in man eater so i thought this would be kind of cool to kind of just dip my toe in and see how i feel about the lip bar because everyone raves about it especially my friend mo yoga with mo is like she's a lip bar girl like that's all she wants she's everything she loves everything about it she has the lip colors all that stuff she needs a code if you're listening out there she needs a code somebody give her a code or give somebody an lgd a code so we can get in there but um yeah so i don't have a primer and i'm not sure if they had a primer on the website i don't remember seeing one um but since this is a serum foundation i was thinking that i would use my uh Elia True Skin Radiant Priming Serum because this is what I use underneath my Elia Serum Foundation um, and it just really works really well. It helps to kind of like smooth out my pores and 
give me a smooth base to start with. So I'm just gonna go ahead and prime my face. And then I think we will do the eyebrows and then the concealer and then we'll do all of that. So I'm gonna prime and I'll be right back. All right, so my skin is all primed and ready to go. And I just wanna take a moment to look at this packaging. Everything was so beautifully packed. And look at the tissue paper. Is this not the most adorable thing ever? I know it's like, okay, it's tissue paper, but it's really the little things, I think, just kind of, I don't know, it just does it, it, just does it for me. Um, especially because it's a black-owned woman company. You know, I, if I haven't said that in the beginning, yes, the lip bar is a black-owned woman company. Um, Melissa Butler is the founder. And she came out with all these different products because she felt like uh, there needed to be um, colors that could work for women of color, especially for in lips. And she also felt like there needed to be an easier way for us to do makeup. Uh, so she created these fast face products. She created these funky lip colors, all these different things for women of color, to keep women of color in mind, basically. So I do have these three foundation shades. Uh, again, I said I'm in the caramel family right here, which let's see, this one might be a better picture of it. Right. So in this caramel family right here is what they kind of said you can go ahead and um, put in like your foundation shades and they will match you to the correct one all of mine are the three o'clock so 301 302 and 303 but unfortunately 303 was sold out um, and they didn't have a sample of the foundation either so I got 402 just in case the three three o'clock might be too too light for me so I'm gonna go ahead and first try 301 and 302 and see what they look like and if those look like mine i won't even open 402 i'll just pass that on to a friend but i am excited to see okay so we'll do a little swatch here on the face for 301 so here is 301 and i can't remember if this is a full coverage or so it's supposed so it says spend less time beating your face and more time beating your competition with our 26 shade collection of light to medium coverage Okay, it's buildable skincare infused serum foundation with dewy skin like finish with built in brush you can you can beautify quickly or on the go. Okay, I do know that there's a brush attached to it which I'm like, eh, not not the greatest, but that is 301. It actually 301 looks like a pretty pretty good match right there. As you see when you put it on, it's much lighter and then it dries down darker. And it seems like it does have coverage. All right, so that's 301. Let's open up 302 and just see. So that's, this is 302. 302 is a lot more yellow or golden undertone. 301 is a lot more warmer. So let's let it dry down and see for sure what it looks like. And I think this is a really interesting concept how they came out with the serum foundations and how they match it up to you. Um, so like if you see here, all we see how deep it goes all the way to the lightest complexions. And I thought that was really awesome, especially for an indie brand, you know? So let's see. So this is 301 and that's 302. And I think, hmm, they're pretty close. 302 is definitely warmer. 301 is definitely more golden undertone. And I'm usually like a neutral. So I feel like I could mix these and maybe get a better match. Yeah, I think I'm gonna mix the two together and do that. So let's take some 301, let's take some 302. Just mixing some on a palette right here. Oops, that's way too much. Darn it. I'm just taking an It Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe Flat Top Buffing one. And I usually prefer light coverage. And this actually seems like it has a little bit more coverage than I actually usually go for. That's a 
look a little bit cakey on my nose but I think that's my fault for putting so much on but the color I think mixed together is not bad I, I definitely like the color mixed together better better than both of them on their own <laughs> the face palette had a mirror in it but it doesn't but that's okay and this is a little bit warm for me a little bit darker I'm not this tan this summer so maybe I could have maybe gotten something in maybe the last two o'clock shade maybe you would have worked but I think on camera it looks nice and now that it's starting to settle in it looks really nice I'm glad I sponged some of it off though. Hmm. That is what we're looking like right there. Definitely medium coverage. And I can definitely can see this building, but this is giving me a strong medium. Yeah, it's a good strong medium. I like that a lot though. Very pretty, okay. Yeah, everybody was raving about this foundation and I can see that. I just, I might have to go and try to get the last two o'clock shade just to see if that might work better just because I'm not as tan as I normally would be this time of year, you know, because of Rona. She's messing up all types of plans. But I did finally have my first date with my husband in like seven months, which was awesome. We went to a drive-in, pop-up drive-in uh, movie last night, and it was so great to get out of the house and do something, but also be safe and not have to interact with people. It was just, it was just like the best thing ever. So I was super, super happy about it. We saw um, The Greatest Showman. So they're playing old movies, but it was just so much fun. We were in a car singing and laughing and having a good time and eating cotton candy and <sighs> just made me, you know, miss the old days, <laughs> the olden days. But anyways, so since I'm sitting on my skin, it looks really, really nice. I think what we're gonna do next is the concealer and then again so this is the newest product so this is called the lip bar quick conceal caffeine concealer self setting and brightening it says wake up your beauty routine and conceal blemishes and under eye circles with our quick conceal caffeine concealer that is a tongue twister infused with sunflower avocado and macadamia nut oils our smooth skin loving formula quick quickly brightens and conceals for a self setting satin matte finish you will love color created to complement the lip bar fast face system okay and that's the system i was talking about with the different uh you know clocks for your complexion range uh interesting that this the foundation is supposed to be dewy is that what they said yeah i'm pretty sure they said that the foundation was dewy but this one says that this is satin matte finish for your concealer so that's pretty interesting maybe it's because they don't want you to crease um, but I do like that there is caffeine in this, but um, anyone who has like a nut allergy, there's sunflower and macadamia nut oil in there. So stare clear away and I'll make sure to pop all of the ingredients on the screen for everything so you guys can have a look. So this is what it looks like. This is super cute. Okay, okay. And let's see. Woo. And here's the, it's not a dope, but it's kind of like a triangular, let me see the best way, triangle. Yeah, okay, okay. So, all right, so let's go ahead and dot some of this on. Hopefully the color, color looks like it should be okay. start with that. Okay, coverage looks good so far. Oh, I saw Melissa, um, she was on her Instagram live. My, I think it's saved because I think um, Mo posted it in our group. So uh, I will link it below her live where she was testing the concealer and talking a little bit more about it and giving it to claims and everything. So there's one little layer and I'm not mad at that. That looks really good and natural looking. I think I'm going to pop a little bit more because I have 
stubborn under eyes, as we all know by now. Hmm. <laughs> but right here, and right here. And so far, I don't see like any creasing or anything. And I really like the color. The color was really nice. So if you were concerned about the one concealer shade matching your complexion group, I think you'll be okay. Um, unless you like a super bright under eye, then you might want to go the next shade up because this is definitely just like matching my skin tone, which I actually prefer, but I know a lot of people like to go brighter. Hmm. Okay, okay, we're coming together, we're coming together. The complexion looks really, really nice. Yeah, I like that a lot. Okay, cool. So that concealer is bomb. I like that. Okay, okay, Melissa, I see you. I see you, girl. Okay, she's coming for my Pat McGrath concealer life because that's my holy grail right there. But this one, she looking really good. She looking real good. Okay, all right, cool. All right, so let's see. The next thing we want to do is let's do our face kit. So the face kit is called Boss Moves for my 3 o'clock uh, caramel complexion shade. And it has a face powder called Cashing Checks, a blush Called, I'm sorry let me open this so you can actually see it there we go so the face powder here is called cashing checks the blush is called grinding oh maybe it's the other way okay they did it the other way so anyway the face powder is called cashing checks the blush is called grinding the highlight is called now hiring and then the contour bronzer is called making bets so that's cool I didn't realize that this was a face powder because I was like girl what am I bronzing with, bronzing with that because that's like literally the, my face and then I realized it was a face powder and I was like I see you you thinking my bad I see you I see you so let's get like a really fluffy fluffy brush and dust the face with that just using a real techniques blush brush I don't know how this is a blush brush this brush is humongo and there's no mirror in that that's the only thing if this is supposed to be like something easy and quick for the car where's the mirror at sis that's the only thing but i guess you figure you could probably use your um car mirror but i would prefer to have a little mirror in that that would have been nice okay powder's kind of cool doesn't look dry or anything and I don't usually powder my skin, but we're gonna do it today because it is in there. And sometimes I'll powder. I'll use either the Pat McGrath Under Eye Blurring, blurring Powder for all over, or I'll use Charlotte Tilbury one, or even the Elf Glowy, whatever that powder is. I like that one a lot too. And the powder looks good. I think it still has some good radiance to my skin. It didn't make me look dry. I see you, girl, I see you. And then what did she say about this? So why the fast face? This is makeup has gotten super complicated, requiring too many steps, too many products, too much money, just too damn much. <laughs> Life is difficult enough. Your makeup should be easy. Fast face streamlines your beauty routine in minutes. Once we know your complexion, we have we make complexion based recommendations so you don't have to think about what works for you. So that's that. We're going to do some bronzer. I'm just going to use the same brush for the bronzer. And we're going to hope that that will show up. Let's see. Oh, yeah, that shows up. Hey, I kind of like this a lot. I feel like so far, those colors work for my complexion really well. There's nothing worse than getting a face palette and knowing that you can't use a lot of the complexion products or a lot of the products that are in the face palette on yourself that drives me insane but I think that gave me a nice ooh she's cute okay give me a nice little tan up there let's see what are we gonna use for blush let's use something fluffy like this all right so let's try the blush it's such a pretty peachy like 
melon color. You can see that. I really like that blush color. That's pretty. I love a lot of brush, so I am piling it on. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's cute. She's cute, she's cute. All right, let's try this. And this is like a peachy highlight, which I am here for. Like this whole thing is like colors that I always look for and never seem like I can find. Ooh, there she go. Oh, I love this. Okay, so far, I'm loving all of the products. And even though this is a first impression, just, would you, what? Ma'am, ma'am, Melissa, ma'am, who told you to go this hard? This is so cute. Ooh, that highlight though. Y'all, y'all. It's like peachy golden, not too gold for my complexion with like a peach undertone. Woo. Oof, she's so cute y'all. Okay, this is awesome. I love this so much. Okay, this would be great if we ever get to travel again, but that's amazing okay i love that so far i'm loving everything everything is like working so well together in this like system that they created i am like 100 percent here for this right now hopefully it like wears really well but so far i'm really digging it so let's see let's see let's see what's next oh the eyebrows so you didn't get to pick like what eyebrow color at least i don't think so i think they picked for you and i think there's only like one or two shades and this one's called arch nemesis it's a two-in-one brow gel and pencil called the quick draw so uh here is the gel and then the pencil is on that side and it's like the triangular kind which i don't really like to use but uh let's give it a go oh so i do need a spoolie it doesn't come with a spoolie okay here we go And normally I like to do gel first, but that gel is tinted and I usually use clear gel. So let's see, and my eyebrows are atrocious right now, so I'm gonna have to figure this out and make it work. There's just so, it's like super liquidy. I don't know if you can see that, but let's see. Ooh, it's pigmented. Hold on. That brow gel is super pigmented, so. Mm, I don't know if I like that brow gel, but the pencil's not bad. Yeah, I don't think that's my favorite. It's giving me a very strong brow. And I usually like my brows to look a lot more natural looking. So I don't know about the gel. I like the pencil though. Should have groomed them before I got on here, but uh, usually I can still finesse it. But these are just strong looking for me, especially that one. All right, let me um, let me fix these and I'll be back. Oof. All right, we're back. Um, not my favorite brows I've ever done, and 
this is not my cup of tea so if you're like that person who likes that triangular style um pencil excuse me i couldn't think of the word and like the gel the gel looks light in here but it dries very dark so um and i think if they have a lighter option or maybe i'm not sure if they did but if they had a lot of option lighter option i would have preferred that i don't like to have super dark brows uh just to me it's just too much of a bold brow for me but if you have dark hair and this is the kind of look that you like then it might be okay um but yeah this is not my favorite thing so out of everything though everything else has been really good so far this is just the only thing i haven't cared for so let me go ahead and finish my lower lash line put some mascara on and then we can do the lip swatches yeah i think that's all that we have left all right I will be right back. Okay, we are back and the eyes are done. We have some mascara on. I think the look is coming together. The, bow, the brows don't seem as bold now that I have the rest of my eye makeup and uh, mascara on. But I also did put some clear brow gel, the Benefit 24 Brow Setter through it just to kind of like mute them just a tad bit. But yeah, so are you guys ready for some lip swatches? This is what the lip bar is known for, these banging lip colors. So uh, again, I have a nude, a purple, and a red. So I think I'm going to start with, I think I think at the end of this, I wanna stay, have the purple on. So I think I'm gonna start with the nude, then the red. Okay, so this nude one is called Man Eater. And these are a lot smaller than I thought they were gonna be. Like, they literally fit like the palm of my hand <laughs> um and the box the box for these are like so when you see the box you're like oh okay that's pretty big and then you pull it out you're like hmm, hmm. <laughs> this box is a little uh advertising a little bit falsely there but i love the packaging the packaging for all of it is very like s and m kind of edgy vibes like um total from back in the day vibes you know what i mean uh so yeah so let's see okay so it has a slanted doe fit applicator and let's see how this goes Pretty red color. Yeah, this will be my new favorite red. This is bomb. Okay, Melissa, Melissa is coming for these coins. She's not playing with y'all, okay? She was like, oh, you want you want something for women of color? Okay, where's your wallet? I got you. look and I gotta tell you I'm very impressed by everything that I had today with the exception of one thing um, I think you guys all know I'm not here for this brow uh, situation <laughs> this two-in-one gel and brow it's just not my my thing um, I think that the color is just maybe too dark for me I think maybe they need to expand some of the shades uh, of their eyebrow or maybe there's a way to customize it a little bit better because I feel like this definitely does not go uh, Does not go with the flow of how everything else is, you know, but um, I'm not you know Everything else seems to be really really good quality. Like I love the foundation. It's it's definitely settled in now 
and I think it looks really nice. It really looks like skin. Um, it paired really well with that primer, so I'm really, really happy to see that. And the face kit and the concealer are amazing. Like, that concealer looks so good. I am a little bit shocked because I am a, a concealer snob. Like, I love my Pat McGrath. I, I don't have no problem spending $40 for a concealer because I want it to work and do what it's supposed to do, you know? So, yeah, I really like the concealer. I kind of want to get the 2 o'clock shade just if I want to do some, like, brightening and see how that goes. And they're only, like, 15 bucks for the concealer. Um, I'll put the... I make sure I'll put the prices of everything because I totally forgot to look up all the prices and some of the things were on sale like some of the lip products were on sale but these lip products are bomb too look at this purple what this is it says SD Chica right they need to change the name from crown me to SD Chica because this is this is my color yes even I really enjoyed the nude the nude was a man eater oh beautiful and this red is the most beautiful vibrant red I've ever worn before this is amazing I will be pulling this out I don't normally wear red too often but this freaking show-stopping I love it I felt very Marilyn Monroe Dorothy Dandridge types uh vibes with that it was it was very very cute so I really really enjoyed it um I did I didn't pick up the mascara they do have a mascara so maybe I'll go pick that up and try it out and see how that goes but I think that was pretty much everything. I'm very happy with this. I think my skin looks really beautiful and radiant and I look like I was out getting some sun somewhere when I wasn't. So, you know, yeah, I'm not mad at this at all. So if you're close to my complexion, the 301 is a little bit more warm tone. The 302 is a little bit more goldeny neutral. Um, I'm not sure what the 303 one is. Maybe that one is a true neutral. I'm not really sure. The 402 definitely was going to be too dark for me, so I'm going to send that to my friend. Um, but I am curious to get the the last one in the 2 o'clock shade. So 203, I think, was the last one. So I am curious to get that one just to see if that'll be like my winter shade. But yeah, I'm very happy and I'm very sad that I waited this long to do it. Don't be like me. Go out there, go support your black businesses, independent brands, black owned women brands. Go out there, show your love. They are in Target. You can get it online and in her flagship store, her headquarters store, which is in Detroit. So yeah, if that is everything. So I hope that you guys like today's video. And if so, please like and subscribe. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.